Welcome back, I am Dr. Ruckus, and today we're playing Esper Control, mid-range, somewhere in there in Ranked Standard. We're running a ton of Planeswalkers, 10 of these bad boys, in fact, all of which can either create tokens or otherwise generate card advantage on your behalf. To protect it, we have four copies of Ray of Enfeeblement, because there is just so much aggro, and specifically white-based aggro in the format, that you can get away with running four copies of Ray of Enfeeblement and have it be extremely efficient at taking out your opponent's threats. Also have four copies of Vanishing Verse, which can hit most things, two Obscura Charms, and four Mean Hook Masters to sweep everything up if you can survive that long. Also running a couple creatures of our own in the form of the Tenacious Underdog, a 2-mana 3-2 that can generate a ton of value late game when it comes back. And also Rafine Scheming Smear. Scheming? Scheming, not Scheming. 3-mana 1-4 Legendary Creature can connive to either uh, add additional pressure or filter through cards as needed. Lastly, have a couple top-end threats in the form of Legion Angel, Sanctuary Warden, and All-Seeing Arbiter to close out the game. That's the deck. If you've been enjoying this channel, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment for the algorithm. Let me know what deck I should play next. Enjoy the gameplay. Let's dive right in. Yeah, we can uh, we can work with this, I think. Do you want to hold up Ray on one? I guess not. Start here instead. Avalanche. Avalanche. Okay, opponent does nothing. Um, maybe we can take our second white now, I guess. Drop Tenacious Underdog. Not blitzing just yet. A little stick by the opponent. Let's see what they have. Do nothing. Okay. 3-2 Blitz. Righteous Valkyrie. Okay. Well, it's a pretty good Raven Fieldman target. Is there anything else worth doing? Let it survive a turn. Kaito Shizuki this turn. Mm, probably not going to be instant or sorcery. Well, we can't really attack through the Valkyrie, I guess. So I guess we'd rather do this. All right, get in there for three. Save Raven Fieldment for another turn. Potentially this turn, go Kaito. Yeah, we can play that on black. Kaito plus Ray. All right. It is a white token. Probably play you out on black regardless. Now we can attack with the Emperor. We can see if they run into the first strike, I guess. Probably will not run into it. Okay, it looks like they do. Plus one and first strike. Four three required, first strike getting in there. If they hadn't blocked, we could have dropped Kaito and then held up Raven Fieldman also. Get that free card draw since we did attack that turn. Let's see if they have some uh, Vanishing Verse for the Emperor. Otherwise, this underdog might get a little bit annoying for them. This is much less good when there are no angels on the field. So if we can keep angels off the field, going to feel pretty good. What I'm thinking, five mana available. Okay, out of Fawn of Hope, don't like that. Splendid Marshall, okay. Okay, well. How do we want to do it? No other creatures in the graveyard. Oh, you're flying, so we can't block it anyway. We can put a counter here. Minus three massacre. No, we can't even minus three massacre. Uh, I think. I wonder if they want to trade the fonts of hope. I mean, plus one and first strike continues to be pretty annoying. So let's start there. Let's see what they want to do with an attack. 
Okay. Probably drop Kaito, draw a card. Hold up in Raven Feeblement. Land's not bad. Okay. I think we're hanging out here. Hold up in Raven Feeblement, probably. Yeah, like that. Okay, double strike required. Where do their attacks go? We're going to lose the Wandering Emperor this turn. Unless they um, go one face, one to uh, the Emperor, which is totally possible. That one goes to the Emperor, that one goes face. Nice. I think we'll save the Emperor, right? Opponent with uh, six man available here. Shield should not save them because it's not damage. They tap it. Only can be used to cast an angel. Unless they have a flash angel, not going to be useful. Take eight. Down to 12. 12 12. We have two planeswalkers. Alright, that's annoying. For sure. We can attack through it with the first strike, though. It's multicolored, too. What do we really want here? It has lifelink. We can at least block it. So, if we put first strike on this guy, we get through. Then we get our free draw off a of Kaito, which isn't bad, I guess. We can also exile target tapped creature. That's pretty good as well. Hmm. Yeah, I think I like that. Let's maybe take our draw first. Okay, probably drop off one of the maskers. Alright, I think we just get rid of the marshal while we can. And drop Rafine, and maybe sacrifice Rafine. Okay, here we go. Apologies for the delay there. Just thinking through a couple options here. Let's see if they want to trade or not. They don't. Okay. Let me go ahead and get rid of you. If they want to attack down the Emperor, that's fine. My and we can drop you as well. Have a decent attacking force online. Obscura Charm can potentially remove a blocker if they attack with Lisa. Valorous Stance. They pay the Ward 1, okay. There goes one of our attackers. Only three mana left, though. Potentially don't have anything left to cast in hand. This could be a land. We attack down the Emperor. Go up to 10. We have 9 damage on the battlefield currently. And we can deal uh, more with the Meathook Massacre. Probably start with a draw here just because. Can uh, drop you off. So we'll attack for 9. Deal one more with the Meathook Massacre, I think. Do this for two. Whatever creature you control dies, each opponent loses one life. Uh. Shit, <laughs> exiles instead. Oh god, alright. Well, that's nice. Good old punish for not reading the card trick. That's embarrassing. Kaito drops it too. They go up to five. Destroy target creature planes worth mana value three or less. Looks like we'll get there anyway. Ugh, ugly. Alright. Get in there. Whew, that was 
That was not good. Don't make that mistake. If a creature an opponent controls would die, exile it instead. That is the last line of text on Lisa. Ooh, that felt bad. But at least we got there. Franking up. Not really that great. Some expensive stuff and no black mana. Opponent goes first. We have a turn or two to draw into the black mana. I think we mulligan this. Alright. Better mana. Yep. Let's keep this. Put away the six drop. Take it from there. Hope we have some creatures to interact with. Looks like we will, most likely. Drop you early. Make sure we get that black mana source for the underdog on two. Green, white. Green, white do nothing. Okay. Put you out on white. Get our underdog going. Some stick from the opponent. Moves to their turn. Okay. Tap land. Potentially do nothing. Probably drew that, uh, you know, this turn if they didn't play it early. Opponent still does nothing. Okay. Feels pretty good. Giving us a chance to pop off with Rafine here. Do we drop off Ray of Feedment or Vanishing Verse? I mean, they gotta have all Brutal Cathars in hand, right? So removal could feel pretty good. That's right, we'll drop off this land anyway. We have double black. That's fine. Right now I'm thinking Selesnia humans. All three drops in hand, but we're not sure yet. Okay. Fine. Um, honestly, this is going to be pretty useful. Let's see uh, what we draw first. Yeah, we could drop off the Masker, get a, get a counter. And this tap land can be cycled next turn, which honestly isn't that bad. That's okay. We don't need that right now. Let's see if they try to pump up the 1-1. One, one. Do we want to kill it while they only have one mana up? It's not a terrible idea. Because then we can respond, they don't have room for a double snakeskin veil. So we'll start here. See if they run a snakeskin. And then if they do, we'll follow up with Vanishing Verse with our non-existent second black mana source. Okay. Well, see how that goes. Yep, there comes a wild shape. Okay. When it conniving away. Okay. Still have Vanishing Verse, but, uh, yeah, definitely, yeah, we did not have the second black there. Dragon's Guard Elite, okay. Could have channeled away, um, Odawara as it is. We do have a legendary creature on our side of the battlefield. Meat hook for two is pretty good. I guess we can see what they want to do first. Get that extra damage in there. Um, yeah, we might as well make this guy bigger. Uh, we can drop Odawara, I think. They probably don't want to block because they want to sneak out of victory. So we're fine if they chump block away here. Okay, they take it all. Yeah, I think we attempt a minus two here. 
see if they have a pump spell for one of them, but probably not both. Okay, they're going to pump up the Virtuoso, sure. Yeah, that didn't really work out as planned. That's pretty bad, actually. Okay, here comes a ton of damage. Twelve damage on the battlefields. Fifteen damage on the battlefields. I think. Well, we'll see where they put the counter. If they get the counter. And they just need one more. They don't get it. Can we find that last point of damage? I guess we have it, right? We just have to discard two of these. Because we get two triggers off of the uh, connive. Okay. Definitely a blunder there with the Meat Hook Masker. Looks like we're still going to get through it. Seven damage. Nope. Okay. Much closer than it needed to be. Oh, man. I kind of forgot the Dragon's Guard Elite got pumped up on any spell, too. Well, this is objectively not a good hand, but against most of the meta, it's okay. Let's give it a go. Hiver the Emperor. Sounds like a mono-white aggro player. Called it. Potentially. We're not sure yet. Play this out now. Open up Raven Fieldman on two. Blue. Okay. Well, we're hoping it's Esper aggro. It's not. It's decidedly not that. All right, this is going to be tough. Definitely not off to what you'd call an ideal start. Is that worth killing? I mean, do we have any better targets? Not, not even necessarily. Let's just use it while we can. That's not it, boys. That is not it. We might even mill this turn and hope we hit a creature or planeswalker. Creature to hand. Ugh. Yep, we'll keep picking this off. Opponent holding open three mana. Okay, well. Play you out on white. Do nothing. Opponent does nothing either. No stick. Potentially have a counter spell. This is much better if we already have something down there. I think we saved Takanuma. That's a card. I think we don't run into the counter spell here. They could just be stuck on land. But I think we try to slam the Emperor in. Oh, wow, that's it. They really want to counter this. Okay. Well, let's see it. Let's see the counter spell. They said, oops, maybe they made a mistake. Not sure. Stick comes out. They deluge now. Okay. Looks like we'll end this coming turn with both the Wandering Emperor and Lolf. Not a bad place to be, despite an ugly start by us. And a slow start by the opponent. We're actually kind of in this game. 
Yeah, I can create a samurai here. Back up, not bad. Man, are they just gonna kill this? Should we save Takanuma? And play it as a land? Probably just play it as a land, because we have backups of everything anyway. Counter there. I'm thinking about this block, okay. Down to 17, here comes the first of our Lulfs. Get some blockers going. Alright, well, we have a decent board. They scoop on that. Alright, that was super weird and awkward, but I'll take the win, I guess. Maybe they got mana screwed. That's my best guess. Maybe they're just sad they made a mistake. I don't know. Okay, totally keepable. Fiend's Tower, keeping that mana base nice and smooth. What do we got going on here? This book. Okay, initiate. Fun, fun, fun. I mean, I also have enough land that we could have held their tower um, to cycle potentially later. Here comes the opponent with a perfect start. I put the counter there, though, which is not usually what I do. Alright, well. Let's see. We just vanishing verse away the aspirant. Because they could just brutal Cathar here. So I think that's actually what we do. Do you think they play? Nah, I think that's fine. I think we vanishing verse here. Don't give them the chance to brutal Cathar the tenacious underdog and continue to get in there with damage. Cav. Multicolored anyway. I think we take out the aspirant now. Unfortunately, it's going to grow the initiate. Uh, I don't really want the initiate growing. 4-4 four, four is annoying. I think we take you out. Let the underdog trade with someone else next turn. Fortunately, get in for 6 damage this turn. Not ideal. Yeah, that's not really doing it either. Here comes the underdog. That's all we got right now. Massively flooding out. Look at this. 7 lands in hand. It's good old Boros aggro. Let's see if we hit that Cathar. A little hesitation by the opponent. Backup Cav. Okay. Only attack with you? You could probably get a little more aggressive than that. Take three. Ah, what does that imply? Maybe they'll have only lands in hand if they're that afraid. Now, next turn we have minus three Masker, which uh, gets us moving in the right direction. This turn, I guess, is an Odawara if we need to. What do we need? I guess we need this on black eventually. Okay, no attacks here. End. Flip the night side. Very exciting. Whoo, boy. Sure. Great. Everyone's bigger for me to massacre now. I guess we're bouncing the cab because it's the most expensive target. Even though the initiate is growing rapidly. Yeah, it's not looking good, my friend. Are we chumping away anyone? I mean, they could potentially kill us this turn, actually. So I think we are. So let's block here and bounce one of the calves. This one is not looking like a W, friends. <laughs> Just massive flood. Seven lands. Eight lands if you count Odawara. Down to five. Did that in case they have any amount of burn damage in hand. You know, play with fire. Um, Royal Eruption. They might have us anyway. Play with fire? Nope. Yeah, this one was uh, not going to happen. Minus three Massacre. I guess we'll just go out <laughs> on our own terms. <laughs> Ugh. That was not a good draw at all. Interesting. Not, you know... Beautiful, but I think keepable. Where are we starting? Gotta hit our lands. Tap land down. The Dark Riddler is who we're up against here. Okay, so be it. Get our 
Black Mana starts going. The Riddler. Bant, uh, enchantments, I guess? Interesting. Okay. Can't complain about that. Three drop, filling in our curve a bit. What are we doing here? Bant, enchantments. You have to tap land, potentially slow start by the opponent. We do have Ward 1, so if they even have the uh, Vanishing Verse, don't think we need that right now. We have Double White available. That's fine. We'll go ahead and play this out. Yeah, we're pretty safe to play this as a, a land here. Wandering Emperor. Connive away. Do we really need land? I think we're okay dropping that off. I think we want to keep it in spells for now. End here. Potentially flash in the Emperor. Um, they're not going to have a good attacking target, so we're just going to put a plus one counter on Rafine. Not an amazing Emperor turn. We're just minus and make a token. Yeah, not worth uh, <laughs> exiling the Emperor now. Let's see what else they have. Teleportation Circle. Interesting. I mean, I guess I don't want them blinking that. Is that worth the Emperor? I guess so. <laughs> we'll do it now so we don't get stuck in some kind of weird... Um... Some kind of weird sequence. Alright, no blinking for you. Plus here. Get in there. Let's we'll see if we take the connive or the card. Um... Yeah, we'll keep the Vanishing Versus. I think we're good right where we're at. Drop Lolf. Feeling good at this point. Board very strong. Tons of removal in hand. Tap land. Oh god, I have not seen this card. 3 mana, 2, 3. And your target creatures controlled by different players. Until it leaves the battlefield. When an exile card enters the battlefield under your control this way. Wow. Did they forget about Ward? No, they didn't. Oh, it's only one. No, is it multiple by different players? I don't really know what just happened there. Exile any number of other target creatures controlled by different players. Okay. Well, and we can't Vanishing Verse you. We can Minus three Massacre. Let's take a, a dig here. That's not it. Vigilance isn't bad, actually. Yeah, I think we go U plus Vigilance, I guess. I won't let a few thugs threaten this city. Let's do it. I've got no needs to teach. Alright. That's fine. Nope, they don't want to attack into the spider. They want to attack Lolf. Do they have removal for the spider? We'll trade the spider off. Looks like they do. They're attacking first, then doing instant speed removal. Maybe last minute pump spell. Not sure, but totally happy to block here. Okay, we get Rafine back. Maybe they have a backup legendary. I will get what I want. Sanctuary Warden. Well, shield does not prevent exile, so Vanishing Verse about to come in here strong. And they blink you. Okay, that's fun. That's something. Only definitely draw on their fair share of cards here. I think we can start with a free draw. Okay. We can keep putting Vigilance on stuff, I guess. You can make a blocker.
Eh. I think we just plus here. Give you vigilance. Seems fine. Alright, attempt to exile you. They scoop. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully get to the minus seven next turn and uh, pop out some angels there. Alright, I guess we'll call it there. Kind of a... Eh, that was a weird last game. But we got up to gold, so that's a decent stopping point. If you enjoyed today's video, as always, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment for the algorithm. Let me know what deck I should do next. I'm Dr. Ruckus, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.